What's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, a new direction of modern man. And today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys 12 top essentials that you guys will need for the summertime. Let's go. Also, most importantly, if you haven't subscribed down to the channel, make sure you subscribe down to the channel down below. Hit that red button right there. And also hit the notification bell so you guys can stay updated on the latest content that I do drop on Arcway. Also, check out the IG page right there so you guys stay updated with the latest content. Let's begin. Okay, so the first top essential that I recommend you guys to grab is a polo. Polos are very standard when it comes down to springtime, summertime vibes. Polos are actually very endearing as well. And also polos actually have the emphasis of um, a masculinity, but also an emphasis of confidence. So grab yourself a polo. It can be in various colors. It can be from a gray. It can be from a navy. It can even be from a salmon pink. You can even go for pastel colors, but make sure you have a polo in your wardrobe that you guys can throw into your bag anytime you guys are leaving the house. It's also the great thing about polos is that it can be worn with so many different things. So you can wear it with a chino, you can wear it with a short, you can wear it with a swim trunk, and also go for neutral tone colors. So you go from a, you can go from a black, you can go from a gray, you can go from an olive, a navy. Make sure you have those in your archive because those are very versatile within your own wardrobe. But if you actually have a lot more flamboyant things, a lot of things of more of a style, more of a color, more of an emphasis on personality, make sure you have that as well because it can complement too. Next thing on my list is a chino. Chinos are very budget friendly. If you're looking for something within the regard of something you wear in the daytime and in the evening, chinos is the way to go. So you're looking for a pair of pants that actually help you look a lot more sophisticated within your own style, emphasize your, your communication for your style. Rocket chino makes it look altogether sleek, but also fitting, but also also check out where you could actually buy them as well. So I'll put some links down below where you guys can pick up your own pair of chinos and make sure you incorporate that into your own style and then rock the whole look with it. Not only versatile, not only stylish, but chinos actually come in different various styles. So you can actually get in a slim fit, you can get it in a tapered slim, you can get in different variations that actually fits you the best. So make sure you check it out chinos on the list. Next thing on my list is a natto or a purlon strap watch. Strap watch is actually very sophisticated when it comes down to style. It kind of sizes something a little different than usual. So I know Daniel Wellington has good strap watches. I know a few other companies Fossil has good strap watches. So look for something that actually can emphasize your own style within strap watches. It kind of has a sailor type of look to it, but also it kind of has a laid back look. So it's not taken as of seriously, but the elegance of the watch actually tells you to take me seriously. So it's quite interesting thing to check out. Make sure you get yourself a strap watch. If you haven't had a strap watch before, make sure you comment in the section down below. Let us know if you're interested in strap watches or if you have different various styles. So with strap watches, there's various ranges of strap watches you guys can grab. So when it comes down to the color, when it comes down to strap style, or just the uniqueness of it, there's many, many different things you guys can actually grab. Different type of styles you out there you guys can actually play with and actually incorporate. But the cool thing about strap watches for the most part is that it's attachable. So when it does come down to the summertime, when it gets hot out there, and you want to take a dip in the pool, you're gonna need some swim trunks. So grab yourself some swim trunks that you feel like will emphasize you a lot more. And I actually go for swim trunks that I'll actually recommend go for swim trunks actually above the kneecap. And it actually shows a little bit more of a masculine type of look towards it, but also gives you that James Bond type of persona when you come out of the water. So definitely get yourself a swim trunk of that liking of your own style. If you feel more comfortable of going to swim trunks below the kneecaps like the billabongs or like the server type of looks all means do that but these are actually my favorite swim trunks so got this from massimo got the emblem on the back draw strap right here netted inlining and these are actually about i think these are a seven inch on the body so these are actually a pair of swim trunks that i do like and i usually do rock so I'm wearing those for the summertime. What's better than squinting at the sun? Getting a pair of shades that actually block you from the sun. So make sure you get yourself a pair of Wayfarers. You can go for Oliver Queen. You can actually go for different various styles. I personally would go for bomb look pair of sunglasses because those actually complement me the best. I actually made it out in Canada, so I gotta represent Canadian brands. But also you can go for different various styles. Styles. Oliver Quinn has a different style as well. But make sure, most importantly, grab sunglasses that actually fit and complement your 
face shape because that is what is going to emphasize the whole style of the sunglasses. So spend that extra time, go talk to the clerks, go talk to the people that actually work at the glasses store and actually figure out what actually emphasizes you the best. If you guys need help with that, I can provide you guys some links that I know of that I use when it comes down to picking out my sunglasses. So make sure you got some shades to fit your whole outfit and also your personality. Also on the pool side, but you need to block yourself from the sun. Not only that a pair of sunglasses will do it, but a hat. So make sure you grab yourself a hat, a hat of quality. You want something that can actually protect you, but full, full circumference from the peripherals at best. Not only that it's gonna be seasonal, grab something that is your favorite team that you really do like or you do represent, and also grab something that you feel is more comfortable for your own setting. Whether that be a snapback, whether that be a classic, whether that be like a straw hat, grab something that you feel will actually fit you best. Next thing I'll tell you guys to grab on the list is actually a tennis sneaker. You guys can pick them up at different various locations and outlets. So Adidas actually has a great tennis sneaker. You can actually go for Vans. It's actually a very classic one in the summertime. So grab something like a staple that you can fit with any of your wardrobes, something that you can just slip on and slip off, something like that. So a sneaker, a clean, nice white sneaker will actually complement your style altogether. Um, something that you will just have in the art, something that you can just throw in to your bag your luggage and you can travel with you don't want it you don't want the sneaker to be like your go-to sneakers but you want to have a sneaker that can take a lot more hits outside when you do walk around or you do travel so next thing on the list is actually getting a linen shirt this is a budget friendly item where you guys can wear with different various styles with your jeans with your chinos with your shorts um, when it comes down to your linens, make sure you get obviously your solid white, but if you want to get into more of a linen style of fashion, you can get into the light blues, go for olives, go something, maybe go for like a, a faded black as well. Those are different expressions of like what a linen can actually, where you can take linens, especially when you wear it. So incorporate your linens into your summer wear and you'll be top of the notch. This is actually an accessory that I always recommend a lot of guys to grab. So this is when it comes down to your shoe game, it does get sweaty during the summertime. I understand that it gets a lot, it gets humid, it gets sticky, but when you have less of a sock, then you're in a, you're in a, you're in a positive, right? So actually go for a no-show sock. That way that you can actually have a stylish look of not really showing off a sock, but also you're not gonna be sweating as much within it. So get something of quality when it comes down to a no-show sock. I'll put down the link down below for you guys regarding that. You can put the no-show socks within your sneakers, your boots. You can put it in if your, your loafers, anything of, Anything that on your feet, you can incorporate the no-show socks if you want to have a little more edge to your style. Another accessory that should go without saying is actually get yourself proper sunscreen. A sunscreen that is basically for your complexion. For me, I would need something like 30 SPF, a little bit higher, but I do get burns on the back of my neck. Sometimes you might not want to you want to prevent that and most most importantly but you'll have to have to take those precautions beforehand so do whatever you have to do but also pack sunscreen for yourself so not only for yourself maybe for someone else can i just throw sunscreen and lip balm in there that should go in hand in hand sunscreen and lip balm let's just do that make it a duo Another one on the list is the Weekender bag. I have Weekender bag by Matt and Nat. I'm pretty sure you guys seen that one before. If you guys haven't, check in the link up there so you guys can check out that review. Uh, weekend bags are actually perfect, and especially when it comes down to the summertime. If you are traveling or if you guys are doing a road trip, a Weekender bag is a perfect thing to actually incorporate into your style, but also for your carry-ons. So. Weekender bag is actually quite big in size, so you can carry a lot of things within that small little bag. So at the same time, you're looking stylish, you're looking fly. Uh, so incorporate a Weekender bag into your style. I got one from Matt and Nat. I'll leave in the description down below for some more. For the drum roll, please, for the next one, you guys will need a good book. Having a good book is actually key. Obviously, it keeps you enhanced with your knowledge, but also makes you separate from the digital era of being on your phone. So, so get off the phone, pick up a book, and enjoy this list of things that you guys would need for the summertime. Most importantly, guys, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you guys want to see more of this content, make sure you hit the subscribe button down over there and hit the notification bell so you guys can get the latest content updates. And also check out the Instagram 
on Arcway right there so you guys can see what's going on on a daily basis when I'm not posting on YouTube. If you guys have any comments or questions about this whole list, put it in the comment section down below. I'll answer all you guys' questions and I'll talk to you guys soon. So have a good one. Enjoy your summer and peace.